Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, the 30th of November, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Show and Tell with Tracy. <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of trial and error things over the last few months, and uh, sometimes I get too hung up, I think, on what the title is, and it's, and then it makes it harder for me to do stuff. So I had tried What's Up Wednesday, and it was all just sort of the latest news, things to keep you in the loop, things to make it easier if there are opportunity for free stuff, anything like that. But I like to share and craft. So that wasn't the greatest thing because it was all about business. So I've since replaced that with the newsletter. The intent of the newsletter is more of the here's what's coming, here's the business type stuff. So then I went with Technique Tuesday. So with Technique Tuesday, I was going to show you something new every time, which works great. Only sometimes, on a Tuesday, the best thing I can do to help you is to tell you about something business related. So I've decided that I'm gonna kinda of best of both worlds maybe, and it's just gonna change. It's gonna be Tuesday at three. It's generally gonna be live. It's not live today because I have been sick as a dog for a week. You may have noticed things have been very quiet out there. You may have enjoyed that. You may have missed me. I'll take either. Um, but I have uh, you know, chronic sinus and, and bronchitis issues, which have been you know, at bay for a couple of years now. I have a little minor you know, sinus issues last summer, but it really hasn't been that much. But this last week, whew, my son got a cold and I started to get a few little symptoms, but nothing major. So we went and got tested just to be safe. Neither one of us had COVID. His cold was, you know, probably five or six days before it started to abate. And it was just a really bad cold. No special symptoms or anything, just a really bad cold. And then just as he was turning the corner, my sinuses kicked in. And they were the worst they have been in years. And then it settled into my chest and triggered the bronchitis. This hasn't happened in a while. So I'm starting to feel human slightly. And uh, I'm going to give it a shot doing this as a video because I think I should be able to pause it without making it too choppy and you know motion sickness inducing for you guys um, instead of having a big coughing fit on there. I also will have to pause every now and again <laughs> to have a cup of tea because right now that's the only thing keeping me going. So we're all caught up. It's show and tell Tuesday. What's the big excitement? Oh, it's catalog time. There's always there's there's always so much around catalog time, um, and it's it's good it's good and bad because, and I find this amusing, but it's also retirement time. Now, based on recent personal experience, retirement is awesome. Um, <laughs> in the stamping world, however, sometimes it could be met with mixed emotions. Yes, tea break. So I'm also, that seems to be a really loud swallow and I really apologize and hope that didn't get caught on the microphone. So here's the thing, I'm gonna, tomorrow's a big day. Today's the last day for certain things. Tomorrow's is something else. Things are going on. Um, but I thought it might be easier just to take like a little step back and give you sort of a bigger overview. And then anytime you need to, you can always refer to this video to understand the lingo. Now, coming from my previous career in fire, uh, yeah, we make up our own lingo. We make up our own verbs, nouns, you know. Well, as it turns out, stamping is no different. Um, there's all sorts of little lingo to go with it. And sometimes it doesn't make any sense. So what I'm gonna do is give you the quick one over, and then I'm gonna make sure that you know your last chance and your best chance to get deals tomorrow. Because, oh, and I hate, I hate to bring it up again with the whole supply chain, global shipping and all that stuff, because it's not fun for anybody, but it is gonna have an impact on everything I tell you. Um, one of the best things about being a demonstrator is get to order early. So this down here at the bottom of the pile, just sort of sneaking a peek out um, is the catalog that starts in January. And I would tell you what day if I had any idea, 4th of January. So this is the new one. Um, but as a demonstrator, I get to order from this tomorrow. So I have a much better chance of uh, the stuff actually coming on time. Now, I, it doesn't guarantee it will because there's 50, just over 50,000 demonstrators are stamping up 
who all get to order tomorrow. So there's just as good a chance that it's going to not, but it's less than the several hundred thousand customers that are going to order come to the beginning of January. So, so today is the last day you can join to be demonstrated at any time, but the really good deal that's going on where you get the starter kit for hundred bucks and you get like over $200 worth of stuff in it. Um, the last day for that sale is today. Now the added bonus, you join today, you get $165 of your choice of stuff. Plus you get uh, the free paper pumpkin kit and the other business stuff I've talked about before. Um, so you get all of that for your like $100 flat rate today. And then now you're a demonstrator, you'll get all your information. Tomorrow you can order from the new catalog and you also don't have to wait a month and, and wonder what's gonna happen in the new year. So, I got so excited about the new catalog. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna to try to dial it back in. Okay, so Stepping Up comes out with basically three catalogs a year. This is the big annual catalog. Mine is coil bound, I've mentioned that before. Um, they do not come coil bound, they're just regular bound catalogs, like a magazine. Um, but I use mine a lot and I flip the pages a lot, so this just helps me. So this annual catalog is basically full of all sorts of stamp sets and dies as, and punches as well. Um, some of them stick around for a while. Some of them are new. Oh, look at the luck of the me. Okay, so I love this set. <laughs> this is what caught my attention. This, this is kind of how I felt. I didn't have an injured paw, but this is kind of how I felt for the last few days. Just, you know, ugh, right? So, and, it, and you'll see on here and it tells you, my camera's not really focusing, but it'll tell you that it's like the stamp set name and blocks and everything like that. But sometimes, you'll see a little end beside it. So this stands for new, which means when this catalog came out, it this was new to this catalog. Some stuff will go from catalog to catalog. Some sets will stick around for years. So this new catalog comes out in May. In this case, it started on the 4th of May. They usually time it to a Tuesday or a Wednesday because it works better for like all the different things going on. Um, in people's lives, not just in the Stampin' World. So when this one started in May, um, the same process would have happened with the previous annual catalog that was out and getting ready for the new one. And same thing, demonstrators could have ordered a month early and all that stuff. But the important thing is this is, this is like a whole bunch of stamp sets and stuff. They do have all occasion ones. They have various different things. Um, this was a new Christmas set that came out in the annual catalog. A lot of demonstrators start in the summer with their Christmas projects and Christmas classes because there is just a lot to do. So this was a new Christmas one. Uh, this one, nope, that's not the right one, sorry. This one was one of the new sets last year, but it carried over. Now, at the end of December, you couldn't get it anymore. And then when this new catalog came out, it was in, so you could get it. Love this set. Uh, there's a couple other ones that carried over as well. So, so some stuff is new, like totally new. Some stuff is in each catalog and it just goes from year to year. And some stuff might have been in one of the mini catalogs and then ends up in the annual catalog. And we have no way of knowing. We don't ever find out ahead of time. We can find out when the list comes out, what's staying and what's going. So this is the annual catalog. The other thing that the annual catalogs, I guess maybe one of its main purposes is this is also where all the staples of stamping go. So cardstock, inks, all of those things um, they come in here, envelopes, markers, um, little coloring tools. Uh, there is a whole bunch of paper. Paper rarely carries from catalog to catalog. So this is like what came in this one, probably none of it's dead. Um, like I said, envelopes, some containers. Now this is where the big shot, or it's not called the big shot anymore, sorry, the snap and cut machine comes. I'm just gonna pause for one second, excuse me. And we're back. Um, and we have a lozenge, <laughs> so maybe we'll get a little farther this time without the coffee fit. So the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the big one and the mini one, uh, they're in here because they're, they're like basics. Now there are other things that do switch out. Um, there's dies and punches and stuff like that. But all of this stuff that is sort of consistent from year to year, the main tools and stuff are in this annual catalog. So it runs from the beginning of May of one year to the end of April of the next year. So this is a big catalog that is currently going and will go until spring. Lots of big stuff in it. Then outside of the annual catalog, as I mentioned, there's two mini catalogs. 
So the current mini is this one, which used to be called the Holiday Catalog or the Holiday Mini. Um, because Stefan Up's a global company, they changed the name, I want to say two years ago, to more reflect what everybody's doing. Um, so now it's just July to December, which is also quite helpful because it reminds you very easily when this catalog is effective. So what this deals with is the bulk of occasions that happen between July and December. So there's a huge amount of Christmas stuff in here, obviously, because that's one of the biggest stamping holidays and one of the biggest things that happens at the end of the year. But there is also fall stuff. And <laughs> I will explain all my happy highlighting that I do. Um, there's Halloween stuff in here. There we go. And like I said, lots of Christmas stuff. And then just some, some other general stuff that's kind of wintry, I guess. So this catalog kind of comes July to December. When it comes out, um, and it, this is a new thing that they've, this will only be, this is the first year they've tried it and they're going to sort of try it again for the second time next year. There's also a celebration brochure that comes with it. So for the beginning of this catalog launch, there's also a celebration. And I'll talk to that, about that in a minute. But so this, this also comes out and this is only usually for a month or two at the beginning of this six month period. And it's basically for every $60 or $120 worth of stuff you buy in the mini or in the annual catalog, you get something free out of this brochure. And there's some, there's some paper, there's some stamp sets. Um, this one didn't have any punches in it. There's, you'll see pictures of punches, but those are complementary to the annual catalog. Um, sometimes there's dies and various different things you can get at different levels. So that, but that catalog has since finished. So now we're into the mini catalog. Now what happens when the mini catalog is getting close to its end or any catalog? So this, this stuff you can only buy until the end of December. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually the 3rd of January. Yes, for the, anybody who didn't know, Right in this very tiny small print on the back, it actually says the catalog specific dates. So this went from the 3rd of August to the 3rd of January. Now I realize it says July on the front because of the weird shipping stuff that happened this year. Um, nothing was, or not very much was available in July. So they bumped everything by a month. So even though it's called the July to December, so everybody remembers the actual active period for it was August. So this catalog is now about to retire. Right, so this catalog is going to end, and some of the stuff in it is going to retire. So what comes out, and I posted them in the last newsletter, I posted links, but and I'll do it again in tomorrow's, is the last chance list and the carryover list. So what this means is anything that's a last chance item means it's ending in this catalog and there's no expectation you'll ever get it again. Right, they're not going to carry it over, they're not going to do anything with it. And, and these items are all while supplies last. So when tomorrow hits and people go crazy buying stuff because some of it's on sale and some of it's really on sale, um, like 50% off, then a bunch of stuff's gonna go. And as soon as it's sold out, it's sold out. Now there is some stuff that's gonna carry over. So some of the stuff that's in this catalog is gonna carry over and you're still gonna be able to get it. So, and it's not, it's not that easy to see on here. And I'm not really sure why my camera's not focusing right now. I know other people do this sometimes and it makes the camera focus. I, I'm not having that kind of luck. <laughs> so trust me, oh, maybe, oh, look at that. Maybe I just have to be more patient. Okay, so you'll notice there's a little thing down here with an asterisk. So it says, any of the ones that have that asterisk will be back in the July to December. So the next July, December holiday mini catalog, some of these products will be available again. They'll come back as like returning favorites. The other stuff will just carry over and you'll still be able to get. So very excited, like the harvest dies, which oh, they make the greatest cards. I had made a bunch of cards with them. They're silhouettes of flowers and plants and stuff. They're awesome. And they coordinate with one of the sets in the annual. So that one is going to be available. And that's, while it is very fall-esque, you can make year-round cards with those dies. They are amazing. So those ones are just going to continue to be available. You don't have to wait for those ones. Um, a couple of the punches are going to stay available. The deer punch, which makes like a really cute Christmas set. Um, the set itself is going to retire, but that punch is going to stick around and it has a new one to go with it in the new catalog. Uh, that doesn't always happen, but it does in this case. So there's some embossing folders and stuff like that. So some of the stuff that's more staple type stuff 
you can get right away and then some of the Christmas stuff will just come back for the next one. So, and the other thing that's given this printed out, and I mean, I can read it in person, but yeah, you're never gonna read it on here, I don't think, is it shows you if anything's on sale and it shows you what the discount is. So we've got 15, 20, 25, 50, some, a bunch of dies are on for 50% off. So this is what's out. And like I said, I will link this. Now, there's two easier ways to tell what's coming and what's going. <laughs> Um, you could do like I do, and you could get this list, and <laughs> this is how this is how I find it's much easier to keep track of. Ah, we'll just go with this page and see what I find. See if I can find all my examples in one page. So this is the gingerbread suite, and as you can see, <laughs> I have marked on it. Find this again. Let's see. I have to focus the last time. All I did was touch my iPad. Yeah, it didn't work this time. Okay, so this is um, a, an entire suite of products, which usually means there's one or two stamp sets or one or two sets of dies or a stamp set and die and a stamp set and punch. Like it, it just means it's a bigger suite of products. It's got some cards, ribbon, all sorts of little accessories, the paper. So it's just a bigger suite of things. But in this case, you can see what's retiring. So the stamp set and the dies that go with the gingerbread are retiring, but there was another a set of dies that came with it that made cute little pillow boxes. That one's not retiring. So I put ours beside the ones that are retiring. I circle the ones that are staying, so it's really obvious. This ribbon's gonna stay, but all the other stuff's gonna retire. Oh, this, the craft paper stay. So that did not give me the example of what I wanted, so I'm gonna keep looking until I find the page that does. Um, here's a good example. So this is the penguin punch and the penguin set, which is adorable. So in this case, when you buy a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and a set of dies that coordinate, when you buy them together, it's called a bundle. And by buying the two of them together, you get 10% off the cost. You see this over here at the big 10%. So this, this stamp set and the punch together, you save 10%. So in the new catalog, the bundle is retiring, but the two individual elements are not. So most of the time, if a new stamp set or a new bundle comes out, it will come out in a catalog, and at the end of that catalog period, they retire the discount on the bundle, but you can still get the two items. Uh, somewhere in here, there's another one. I'm just, I can't think what it is right now. Uh, it has something to do with stars. Oh, here's the page. Here's a good page. I think it's the one with the stars. Um, I have to take notes. Sometimes it happens that um, the stamp set will retire, but the dies or the punch won't. So you just have to look when you look at it to see what it says is actually retiring. Um, in this case, the stamp set's retiring, the dies are retiring, everything, right? Like you can see little R's on everything. But you'll notice I've also written the price. So this set of dies is $42 normally. It's on for 50% off, $21. So where you could still get the bundle, it's actually gonna be cheaper now just to buy these two separate pieces if you haven't already. Adorable, adorable. My favorite part of this whole staff set, let me see if I can make him, is this little hamster. <laughs> it was adorable. Um, makes me smile. Okay, so you can see, so some of the ribbons on sale, um, I didn't write percentage, just my can't do the math this fast. 12.25 becomes 10.41. 950 becomes 855. But yeah, a lot of the die is 50% off for some reason. So, so this is what I do, right? So I went through and I looked at all the stuff to see what was going to carry over and what was going to go on sale. And um, and if there's something you just have to have, you want to go early tomorrow and get it. Now, the easier way to find out, and I and I put the link in all the time and I'll put it in again tomorrow, is if you go to my online store, that's the easiest way to find out if something is current or not. Because if you if you click on the store and you go to search, I was trying to see if I can find the dies as I was going, but I either went by them or for some reason they're in a really weird spot. Oh, maybe they're in a weird spot. But, uh, that's not a good example because that one's carrying over. <laughs> Here, let me find one. Oh, there we go. So these are the dies I was talking about. These ones are going to carry forward. <laughs> And they're amazing. Okay, so this cork paper, oh, also a personal favorite of mine. It is super, super thin, but it looks and feels like cork. It's very pliable. You can stamp on it. It's amazing. 
So let's say I've decided I'm going to stock up on cork paper. So I go to the website. I take a slug of tea to brace myself. And I look for cork 12 by 12. It's got a nice simple name. If cork 12 by 12 does not come up in my search, it means it's sold out. Now, sometimes it will come up. And when you go to like where you get to add to cart, right above that section, it will say it's it's back ordered or it's currently unavailable. Um, that, that would be the update. You would see like if you went today and looked, starting tomorrow, they will no longer be doing back orders. Now this may change six months from now, but in order to try to, I guess, find a way to get through this, the, the supply chain and the shipping crisis right now without bankrupting the company, um, they, Stampin' Up! has decided that effective December 1st, they're not going to do back orders anymore. So whereas before, if I wanted cork paper, I could go in and if, if they currently were out of stock, but they had more coming in, they would take orders for up to 2,000 packages of cork paper and just put it in. So you could have it mixed with another order and they would send you everything they had in stock and they would just put you over here on the side somewhere and say, okay, you're back ordered for your cork paper. But then when the cork paper came in, they would put it in a separate um, box and well, whatever, and send it to you. But that was, in a normal year, that's fine. That's an okay process to do. And, and apparently through this whole discussion of this new change of policy, it turns out a lot of companies don't do that. Like the majority of direct sales companies do not actually do that. But what it, what it started to do though, is because of so many issues with the cha um, supply chain and stuff supposed to come in and then it doesn't, and, and their commitment that as soon as it came in, they would send it, they're sending a ton of extra packages now, and it's starting to cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you want a company to be strong and healthy and fiscally sound so that it keeps producing the things you want. Like I love this stuff and I want them to keep making more and coming out with this stuff and having the really awesome cardstock and ink and stuff available. And that only happens if they're strong. So they made that decision. So now when you go to the website, you won't see that you can back order. It's gonna either be there I think there's still a chance you might see currently unavailable. If it's something that's like carrying forward, you just won't be able to order it at that time. So tomorrow, the important part is, if you want this cork paper and you go and it doesn't come up, that means it's sold out that fast. And it happens quite frequently. Because demonstrators can order tomorrow on the new catalog, this system's gonna be super busy. So you probably have to be a little patient, um, but, yeah, if you, like I said, if it doesn't come up in the search, it's not there. Um, just because you bring it up in the search and put it in your cart and then spend the next hour shopping does not mean that it necessarily will be there when you're done. I have had that happen to me. It's very frustrating, but just to warn you, um, putting it in your cart does not like save it. So it's a good idea if you, if there's stuff you absolutely want, make your list, do a little scroll through. Um, right now, if you went on the website, it would tell you, you could go to the sales section. And it would tell you there's a clearance rack where they put um, old stuff. And I don't think there's any other sales going on right now. Um, yeah, so tomorrow that section will update though. And when you go to the sales section, now it's gonna say last chance products. And so if you wanted to see just the stuff that is leaving and you wanted to be able to scroll through it faster, you can filter it out that way by looking at just last chance. Now I did say, the clearance rack. So what happens when they retire these products is some of the stuff will sell out right away. So you know if it sells out, you're never seeing it again. Some stuff will go from now to December and people will keep adding it to the cart and they'll buying it, but maybe there'll still be some left. The companies do their best to project what's going to happen <laughs> and what people are going to buy, but who knows, right? And they do stuff like two years out. So the fact that a whole bunch of this stuff was decided and chosen and picked and stuff before there was even a pandemic or people working from home or shipping issues has had a great impact on what's available and what's not and, and who knows. So it's, it's really hard to guess what's gonna be there, what's not. Um, a lot more people buying stuff, a lot more people, like I said, demonstrators tomorrow are gonna order like crazy um, just to make sure they have stuff. So, but at the end of December, it's possible that there will be stuff that was in this catalog that didn't carry forward, that said it was retiring, last chance, that they might still have a bunch of. So it is possible 
that a year from now down the road, it's usually a year, um, it will go on to the clearance rack. So the clearance rack is only online. It's just a website. Sometimes we get notice it's going to update and sometimes we don't. Sometimes it just all of a sudden, it, there it is. Um, and stuff's discounted anywhere from like 20 to 80%, I think is what it says. So, but when they say, hey, we're updating the clearance rack, and as soon as we know that, um, demonstrators will post for everybody, hey, clearance rack is updated, and there is stuff that will sell out within the hour. So it gets even harder when it hits the clearance rack, because by then it's even, I don't think there's anything on the clearance rack that's not on sale. I think it's all on sale on there. Um, so when they say last chance, they really do mean it, because if it sells out, that's it. Um, and if it doesn't, maybe it comes back on the clearance rack. Stampin' Up! also donates a bunch of stuff to um, charities and, and like to kids' places and so other people can craft. So if there's leftover product from here, doesn't mean it will for sure end up there because they could just donate it. So if there's something in this catalog that you know is retiring, it's not carrying forward, that you really, really want, you need to order it early tomorrow. And the only way to guarantee it's that one, you'll get it, or especially if you want to use it this Christmas, that you'll get it in time. So that's my PSA for you today. If there's anything in here you, that you just have to have. <laughs> now, I am, uh, okay, maybe it was a bit of a hint, but I do love that cork paper. So for my personal use, because you can cover notebooks with it, it's very cool. I'm going to order some of that tomorrow when it goes on sale. Or actually, I'm not sure if that was one of the ones that went on sale. But there's a couple other things I want to make my big order tomorrow for my, for my pre-order. I'm going to add some of that in. So if you want some stuff that you want to order, I'm going to be up early, ordering nice and early. <laughs> Let me know today, and I will get it for you. Otherwise, there will be a link in my newsletter, which will be out at 7.30 in the morning, that you can just click on. It will take you straight to my store, add the stuff into the basket, hit buy. Um, you pay $9.95 in shipping when you order there, but it ships directly to your house. So you'll, you'll get notifications of the shipping. And, and things are moving again. I, um, maybe that's worth telling you. My, when we had our convention a few weeks ago, the, we were able to order stuff even earlier than the rest of the demonstrators. That's another advantage to going to stuff. So I ordered the stuff I wanted to use for my January class, which we're gonna make Valentine's stuff. Uh, oh, this stuff is just adorable. I love this new set. It is fun and happy and you can just send it. I send out a ton of Valentine's because anybody that, you know, you just wanna let them know that you like the fact that they're in your life. You can, you can adapt something to there. They don't all have to be lovey and schmutzy. Um, so I wanted to order that stuff. So I had ordered it and it shipped and UPS that comes from Utah goes up through Richmond, BC and over. So our stuff made it as far as Richmond and then got stopped by the floods, the road issues. So it sat there for, I think almost two weeks. But the other day, um, I got notification that it was a, that things were starting to move again. And on Saturday, with a different delivery driver than normal, my, my box of stuff arrived. So I'm assuming that they finally figured out a system or how they're gonna do it or how they're gonna reroute or how they were gonna get that stuff moving. And they're working overtime to get it going again. I, another order that I had placed when the sale was going on with a bunch of um, the car stock and inks and stuff, that one sat for a week at Stampin' Up before it even processed. But as soon as this stuff started to move, I noticed that that order completed and shipped and it shipped on Monday and I, by notification, I should have it on Friday. So things are moving, like I said, I think they've figured out the system again. So yes, it's still busy. Yes, it's still slower than normal, but it is once again moving. So that's a good sign. Um, the chances of getting stuff for Christmas, three, four weeks out. Uh, if you're getting it as a gift, I'd say there's a chance. If you need it, getting it and then need two or three weeks to work on stuff, probably not. But if, I mean, I, a lot of this stuff is carrying over. The set that's on the cover is this amazing set. And I used it a little bit, but I just, I didn't have enough time this year with everything that was going on. And I'm so happy that this set is carrying over, including in a rare occasion, the paper. So I'm really looking forward to having more time to play with this. This foliage here, oh, I just love it. So. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's most of it. Okay, so this one is coming out, or retiring. So this is the new one coming up. Now here's the deal. Can't show you these catalogs. I can show you the cover of these catalogs is all I can show you right now. And I love being a demonstrator, so I'm not gonna break the rules because 
I love being a demonstrator. So this is the mini catalog, which covers January to June and the occasions that happen then. So Valentine's, spring, Mother's Day, Father's Day, babies, weddings, there's a lot of variety in this one of different occasions that happen in the first six months. There's also, and is this not amazing? Ooh, kind of a spring extravaganza, people. Who knows what sets we'll be using for those. There's also a celebration. Excuse me, Kim, while I pause. Okay, I have no idea how long I've been going, but I do know I need to wrap that before my son walks in the door and yells, I'm home from school. Um, there will be a celebration at the beginning as well. So like I said, celebration, for every $60 you buy, you can pick a free item in the $60 range. Sorry. Okay. So there's a $60 level one range and there's a $120 level two range. Now you could buy stuff off the clearance rack, stuff from the annual catalog, stuff from here. Any current product Stampin' Up! has, goes towards those totals. This is before shipping and tax, but it's, but, and, and there's, um, I don't know, there's some papers and some stamp sets. Um, I can't actually remember exactly everything that's in the catalog, but, um, and these catalogs will go live online and into the store. You'll be able to see the products from them on, what did I say, the 4th of January. You can't see, if you wanna see them before that, you need to get a paper copy. So if you want a paper copy, I will put the link in when I post this video. If you want a paper copy of the catalog, just click on the link and, it'll, and send me the message and I will make sure you get one. Um, I can order catalogs tomorrow is the earliest I can order them, but I will have them generally within a week to 10 days. And then I make a point of dropping them off as I go or meeting up or how, mailing them out, however it's gonna get to you. Um, I, you know, when I talk about this stuff, I always talk local because that's generally how we do things. But technically, you could be anywhere in Canada and I could be your demonstrator, which I'm happy to be. I'm happy to help. So if you were not in the local area, I would mail you stuff. If you are in the local area, we just tend to try to become part of the errand run and uh, find ways to meet up because then we can always chat. Because, hey, I'll talk Stampin' any day of the week. So there's our summary. New catalogs coming out. If you would like them, click on the link or get a hold of me if you already know how and let me know. Mini catalog, holiday catalog, majority of stuff in it, retiring, will be on sale tomorrow. Let me know ahead of time if you want something or tomorrow you can let me know if you're trying to make an order and you need help. I'm going to uh, add the link to this in my, actually I'll see if I can, I know how to do it in my newsletter. I'll see if I can figure out how to put a link on the Facebook um, so you can look at the list in a bit more detail. And annual catalog, always a good one. Um, I do have some annual catalogs also. If you need one of the annual catalogs, let me know. Um, or if you just need this one. But this is the big one for tomorrow. Most of it is retiring. A lot of it is on sale. It will go quick. Shipping's still a little wonky. Let me know what I can help you with. I would also very much appreciate for anybody who managed to get all the way through to the end of this recording. Um, if you can tell me, if other than the fact that I said pause, which I kind of did so that when I asked this question, you would know. If I hadn't said pause, would you have known I paused? Was, or was it like super choppy? Because I need to know for future videos, can I start and stop and pause it? Or is it just annoying? Today, I didn't have a choice, but in the future when I do, I'd like to figure out what's the least annoying for you guys. So thanks for hanging until the end. I would appreciate the feedback on that. And if you have any questions, but for sure, let me know. Thanks everyone. Have a great Tuesday.